hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i want to show you guys all of the different samples of wedding invitations that i got for my fiance and myself as we were planning our wedding so let me go ahead move all of these out of the way and then i'll be right All right, so the first one that I requested was from Minted. Now, when you start your process of looking for your stationery, your invitations, your save the dates and stuff like that, um, like we all know, you know, if your location is on on your phone and you start looking up stuff, certain things are going to be recommended to you in ads or, you know, posts or whatever the case may be. So... Some of these I did find that way. Um, Minted itself, though, I actually was signed up for their email listserv when I was looking for stuff when I was planning some baby showers prior to. So with this, um, because I knew I had already signed up for some of their stuff and I did like their stuff, I went ahead and requested a sample. So this is the sample that they sent. This is how it came in this box. At the very top, it has your big day begins here. So here on the right, they gave you an actual like sample um, suite. And then these are some of the options that they have. So here's the suite itself. And then we have a couple of more of the other ones. So we'll start with these ones first. So this one is a actual wedding invitation um this gives you like a design shows you how it looks with the foil which i like because of course this is rose gold so this is what i, I do like about that one it is a really nice thick card stock and this is what it looks like when the back and with minted if you guys don't know minted is literally like an etsy for stationery so it's a bunch of different designers and vendors on minted and they all sell their products on there. So this one here is by Robin Ott. And that's what that one looks like. And this one here is a really nice, uh, like very minimal classic look to it. It does have a textured paper to it. This is also an actual wedding invitation. I do like the look of that. This is how it looks on the back. And as you see, it's embossed because you can kind of see the um you can't see the ink on this side but you can see where the writing is but i do like this one this is really nice it feels really nice to the touch um, this one here is one that does not have any extras to it um you have this like pretty pink with this uh geometric sign around here you have the wedding you have the invitation information here and then that's the back that's the what the back looks like for that one um, this one here, which I thought was so interesting. I love this, like, look to it. It's really nice. This has, like, it has the look of the texture of the second one I showed you guys, but it does not, it doesn't feel that way. It's, it's more smooth. Um, but I really do like that. This is really pretty. And then that is what the back looks like. This one here is, as you see, you can customize it with um, pictures. So this one is an actual save the date because it just has a name it has their wedding date and then the location. And that's typically what a save the date will look like. And then that's what the back one looks like. And then this is a save the date. And this is almost similar to what we use. We use our pictures on our save the date. Um, but we did not have a uh, foil. It was just save our date. But it looks like it was uh, almost like it was gold in a sense. Um, but that's what that one looks like. And then that's the back. And that's the, like, good thing. There are many options depending on your taste and, you know, what you like or may not like. So, you definitely have options here. Now, I'll show you guys what the suite looks like. So, with it, you get, it's almost like two sets of envelopes that you're getting. Kind of like, wait, what what's happening? Okay, of course, he, he loves purple. So, he's like, oh, I like that one. I'm just like, um, no. <laughs> so, here... On the back of the envelope, and this is the envelope that the 
person or couple would receive. This is what the outside looks like. If you want them to um, print on the addressee's information, you can. Some of the sites that we've been on do both. You can have it and it'll be free or you can get it done for a cost. Um, I think it's great that some of them do offer it for free. And then I know one of the biggest things I've been seeing is that if anybody needed to change their date, they've been giving that to people and they're able to do it free of charge, which is a, a beautiful thing. And then here on the back, you see this will have the return address. And this is, if you guys have never seen a wedding invitation, typically you won't have the return address here. It will always be on the back flap of the envelope. So this is what the inside of the envelope looks like. And then for this suite itself, this is how they customize it so the inside matches the um, invitation. So then this here is the invitation itself. And as you see, this is a belly band, which is really pretty. And this is accented in gold. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. So you take the belly band off. This has a beautiful vellum with a saying on it, which I think is really nice. It really accents the invitation itself very nicely and then this here is the actual invitation itself so you have the person's name you have their date the time the location and it has reception to follow now looking at this this is pretty much telling me that their reception and their ceremonies at two different spots and that's one thing you have to think about too there are different things that comes with an invitation you have the invitation itself you have your RSVP card, you have your reception card, you have your travel and accommodations card. And then with some of these suites that they offer, they may also have matching like place cards, thank you cards. So all of these things you also have to think about when you are looking at stationery. So that's what that looks like. Let me put this back on. I try to keep everything looking and together so I don't be mixing them up because... You know, it's a, it's a bunch of them that I have. <laughs> All right, so then here itself, this will be the um, return address. No. So this looks like this is another way to send information to the um, person that you're inviting. So as you see again, it has the printing of their information here as well as like a little symbol to kind of match here. And then on the back here, you have your return address. Here, this is a thank you card. And I think this is really pretty. So as you see, you have a specialized thank you card that you can get. This is your RSVP card, which is beautiful. And then on here, you know, it asks you, you want to reply yes or no. You have a spot to put your name and then to pick your dinner option. And then lastly, this is the place card. So it's empty on the inside, um, but it would kind of just be like this on the table. So then that person can see their name and see what table they're supposed to sit at. So that's one of the suites that I got um, from Minted here. And then in the rest here, kind of talks about this is another belly band but this kind of gives you some more options here so with this one this tells you about your foil color so as you see you have your gold silver that iridescent which i thought was so pretty you have a bronze a black rose gold ice blue glittery gold and glittery glittery silver so you guys can see all that beautifulness and then on the inside here, for your wording, you can have any of these colors and you can have it um, letterpress, which letterpress would be this here. This will be what you consider letterpress for reference. And then here you have all the different fonts that you can choose from. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see. And then on the back, this talks about like wax seal. So a wax seal will go on the back of your envelope. When you close it, you will put the wax seal here. So they have the different options there as well as different ribbons if you wanted to accent um, your invitations. 
And then this here also talks about your different types of paper. So you have your smooth signature paper, which is like the typical one. It gives you all of the information that you need is 137 pound, 7.5 point, 7.5 point thickness. Okay, and then it tells you all of the commonly used colors on the back there. This is a signature paper as well. This one is 130 with 19.3. And then again on the back, this is how all the colors look on this one. This one is premium 100% recycled paper and this is 160 pound and 17.5. And then this is what all of the colors look like on the back of that. Here you have this uh, pearl lesson paper. I don't know if you guys can see that chain is so pretty. But this is what that paper looks like. This is 110 pound and this is 14.5. And that's what the colors look like there. You have Lux Museum Board, which is 360 pound and a 54 point thickness. If you guys just look at that, like that's, that's super thick. And then here you have all of your printed colors. And then this one is called Double Thick. And this is 240 pounds and 35 point thickness. And then that's what that looks like. And those are all the colors. So that came a part of this sample, which was nice because even though you get certain ones, you may need to see like other things, like some things in the sample may not be what you're interested in. So, you know, it's nice to have that. So then here, this gives you options for your envelope. So you have your different envelope options like that silver is really, really pretty. Of course, you have white. You also can have printing on your envelopes white. And if I remember correctly, I think that Minted is one that actually offers the free printing on your envelopes. Now, with Minted, uh, some of these products also come with a custom website design as well, which I thought was really Cool. So if you like anything in particular, you may have to check it out and see they may also have, you know, the matching website um, design for you as well. And then here you have a digital collection card um, and it says send unique digital cards to request guest um, addresses, which is nice. That would have been helpful. <laughs> this one here shows you different invitation formats and Honestly, I never thought that there was that many until we started planning. I'm like, oh my gosh. So as you see, you have your typical five by seven and you have a six by six with a little bit more square. You have a petite version of the original. You have an all-in-one, which has all your information. You literally open it up and that's like everything. You have a four panel. So you literally, it's like a book and then you have actually a mini book. Then you can have different shapes for your invitations as well it talks about the suite so as you see you have your rsvp and enclosures your thank you cards belly bands and then vellum overlay so that's all of the different looks and then here you have all of your coordinating envelopes so you have your standard a return address printing a euro flat which looks like that instead um guest address printing it says free guest addressing style to match your card which is cool then you have your liners, skinny wrap at the top, your wax seals, and then you can make customized stamps with Minted, which is cool. Then for the day of, if you wanted to have matching menu cards, table signs, um, table numbers, a welcome and direction sign, a seating chart programs, um, chair signs, you have all that as well as like favorite boxes, ribbons, favorite tags, and favorite stickers. So you get a lot. This is a welcome card from the founder and CEO saying thank you. And it kind of gives you some things to um, think about and to know about Minted for your wedding. And then this just talks about, this is like an open out book. So it kind of like talks about all of the different options that you have. So as you see, it's like a whole story that you're looking at, right? Right, like, isn't that beautiful? And then here it tells you like what's included if you wanted a custom invitation sign and then end to end wedding design um, costs us a little bit more. And then on the back, it goes into a little bit more detail like consultation and move board, designing, completing it, and then all of your finishing touches. So one thing that I knew for certain when it came to Minted was 
I knew that they were going to offer a lot of different options. And I really appreciated that about them. And that's also why, that's why they was one of the first ones that I've actually requested an invitation sample from. So that one is from Minted. All right, the next one is from Shine Wedding. And this is one of the ones that came across my Instagram feed as I was scrolling. You know, you start looking up stuff and things start popping up. So this was one of them. Um, what I liked about theirs was the like aesthetically pleasing look to it. You guys will see. So, so you guys will see here what it looks like. This is what the outside envelope looks like very pretty this is in boston so when you like rub it you can feel the printing on it but that feels great here you go so it all starts here so here you have a um a example of an invitation here and then this gives you like a timeline of you know putting together your orders and putting things together and stuff like that so I do like that okay and then that was actually like an additional thing that they sent me and then this is what came in the whole thing see just it it opens out so it has you know talks about making an impression and gives you like some samples of what ones look like talking to their expert and then this gives you like a whole suite here so you have like your outside envelope the liner of the envelope you have your actual invitation with some vellum your return address the rsvp your information for the day and then um this one talks about the reception and they they you know they had them all listed out here but that's what it looks like and then this is what the back looks like so that tells you like that couple's and then here they also have those wax seals as well. And those are the three designs that they offer. And then that's one of them there. And it also gives you a timeline again. So this is what it looks like itself. So this is um, what the outside envelope could look like. And here they would do the printing. And from what I remember, they do, they charge you to print on there. And then on this flap here would be the return address. And then this is what it looks like. It's, it's a little it's a little janky because we've been opening and closing it. But this is what their wax seal looks like here. That's that florette. And this comes in, as I call them, a vellum jacket. You know, I have to explain these things to the man. <laughs> right and then this is what this is how it came here you know before we all before we we janked it up so they offer different styles the style that i chose was the romantic style so that's the type of sample that i got so the belly band comes off and then you have your invitation so this is what the invitation looks like um the one thing now that has been drilled in my head is that he doesn't like it that is lowercase he loves he wants his you know his names to be uppercase so you know that's it but that tells you one thing and then this one is what their letter presses and again the letter presses where you can fill it so it kind of shows you and it shows you um you can see kind of a color difference as well and this one is available in white and ivory cotton i believe this is probably the white cotton and then you could do a single or double thickness this is the white cotton in 110 pounds so that's what the invitation looks like here then you have your travel card and again like I was saying if you need to offer information to the couple about you know their like hotel accommodations for parking stuff like that and then even here they have the name of their wedding um, site so then people can probably also reference that in case you know they lose that then here this is the return address when they return your RSVP card and then this here this is the RSVP card here you got reply by has your date on there you put your name if you can come or not and then your choice of entree and then this here gives you information because their wedding ceremony is separate from the reception this gives you information on where the reception 
is. So that's what this wedding suite looks like. And I mean, for me, the, the, the classic look of it is what I did like when I first originally seen it. So, and then this is another option for um, the outside envelope. So this one is a little thicker than this one here. And it kind of just shows you it since it didn't really give you that on this one here. And then inside of here, it kind of gives you some more information about your cards and invitations. So here, it talks about all of the colors. So you have all the different color options that you can um, choose from, as well it gives you the names, what I really like about that. And then this one also gives you some more um, choices as far as paper. So you have, this one is called the Elegant Bra, and this is Ivory Matte 130 Pound 18 Point. The Timeless Bra, which is a double thick. And if you guys look, just looking at these two, you can see the thickness change. So this is double thick white mat. And this is 240 pound at 35 point. And then a modern bra, which of course, you know, anything that shimmers, I love it. And this is white shimmer. And this is 137 pound, 17 point. So that is everything from Shine. Um, the no fussness of... Their invitations is what really had me pick this one to look at as far as a option, especially for him because, you know, he likes to be no fuss. So I got that. Uh, this one is from, I found this site. It was called like Ann's. Anne's bridal discount or something of that sort. I'll put it I'll put it across the screen. Um, but with that, they also offered they also offered other like sites that they use. So this one in particular is called Invitations by Dawn. And what I really liked about them, if you guys can't tell already, is Rose Gold. So um that was like one of the things. So here they give you your different options for color. And as you see, this is thermography, so it's raised print. So when I rub my finger over this, like I can feel it. And I think these colors are absolutely beautiful. Like look how deep saturated the black is. Even like the mocha is so dark, it looks almost black. So I really like that. And then for their letter press, again, you can feel it when you rub on it. This is all of their colors. And um, this tells you this is a 220 premium cotton paper that it is printed on. Um, normally the sample would be, but this paper in particular that I'm holding is 110 standard cotton. So it kind of gives you like the difference. And then it also tells you like the most affordable. So I really like that about this one. So this is what one of their envelopes look like. And it feels very soft like you're touching cotton. So I do like that. And that's actually one of the things that he liked too. Now, for whatever reason, they sent me two of the same thing. I don't know why, but this was one of the ones that they sent me. The cursive was, even though it's like standard, that's not how I do my J's, but I know I do my J's differently because that is my first name. So I am i can't really fault them, but I think my biggest thing was how they draw A's. A's is important because A will be my new like last and last name initial, so... That's more important for me. This is one. This is probably his favorite <laughs> as of right now. Um, but I do like it. And I thought he would too because it's elegant and simple. But it gives that pop that I love. <laughs> and then this was the last one that I ordered. Um, I actually ordered all of them to come in rose gold. But for whatever reason, they sent me gold in this one. Um, but the only thing is... I don't like that everything else is in cursive, but our names wouldn't be. So that's the only thing. But I think you do have the option to change it. When I go online, um, again, I'll double check and let you know. But I'll also make sure I let you guys know the name for all three of these. But yeah, these are the three that I got from Invitations by Dawn. Um, and I told him one of the things that I definitely liked I don't know if you guys can see it, but the edges are also in rose gold. I'm just like, what? 
and he's just like, oh God. <laughs> he he knows his woman well. So those are all of the ones that I got from Imitations by Dawn. All right, next up is Shutterfly. Shutterfly was actually the place that we were going to get our save the dates from, but I actually ended up finding them on CVS. And I had a really, really good discount. And I can tell you one thing about CVS. CVS, when I ordered them the first time, I swore that I chose to print it so it actually looks like something formal coming. And they ended up printing it on like photo paper. And I had emailed them and I told them that. And they actually refunded my money, which was so nice. I was able to reorder the next ones without being out the money. But I can tell you, I paid what? Like just, just over $100, I think, for our save the dates. And there was a like great discount during that time when we ordered. So look. Look, look at CVS and look at Walgreens too, especially for say the dates. Anytime that you can try to cut costs, I, I say try to do, it, especially if it's something that you really want, cut costs where you can so you can get what you want, you know? All right, so back to here. This is uh the wedding shop from Shutterfly. And I was irked because I saw this. I said, oh, we got, but then I realized both of those expired last year. I said, oh, okay, y'all funny. <laughs> All right, so here is their booklet and then their booklet, you know, kind of goes over the same exact things that we've been talking about talks about your save the dates your wedding suites your invite cards like you know rsvp cards talks about all the different wedding imitation designs that you like um they have the wedding papers diva collection but it has a little bit more luxe um i personally like it because they also have oil so yep like that um, here, they give you free address printing, which is awesome. You can also customize your envelopes for a nice look here. And then for the day of, they also offer like menu cards, place cards, um, stickers, and other things that you can use to customize your event. Then you have, um, if you wanted to do like your bridal shower things or something like that you could do that and then you also have your option for thank you cards from here and then if you guys don't know shutterfly does a whole lot so of course you can put together a wedding album from them you got keepsakes and this is probably something that i may really look into for us and then if you wanted like wedding party stuff you can also get some customized stuff from there and here are some of the samples that we got. So this one here, um, as you see, is a photo. Hope you guys are seeing that gold. It's so pretty. And I love it's like their names are like, it's like out. So it's that letter press so you can fill it, but everything else is smooth. It's really nice. So that's one of the samples. And then back here, what they do tell you is that what's available. So you can see all the different colors in the paper, but you can also customize the paper. Um, and then you can um, see it comes a different foil. It'll tell you what type of paper it is. And then if you have any questions, so go ahead and go check them out. So that's one. I'll show you that one next. This is another one. It says we do see so that, that all in one thing. Yeah, this is what this is. So you see here you have their names are writing to their wedding. And then here it talks about the date we're at and then it says dinner and dancing to follow and it's their picture which is really nice i really love the like shimmer to this here and this back it tells you the two different colors that you can get and then see on the back here it tells you all of their wedding information of course this part is covering but since it's a sample you know but i think that's really beautiful this one here i feel like this is for like that uh farmhouse rustic chic look here but this is theirs it's completely flat there's um no embossing no foil nothing like that and then on the back here it tells you um you can get these in all different terms and then it talks about the different um the different card stock that it comes in so that's that one and then this last one here before we get to the suite is also another picture one with some florals it's very pretty it has the gold this is um you can feel it when you rub over it which is nice and then any of these like little gold accents here are also um in it and then this tells you the different colors so you can get this gold rose gold or iridescent which i think will probably look beautiful with these i definitely agree with that 
And then this here is the wedding suite itself. So here you have your envelope. And as you see, it's very customized to match this like invitation and the whole look. So you have that. Then you have your return address here. Here is the actual invitation, which is beautiful. And it's rose gold. Like, and this is not even like my juge, but I just love seeing the rose gold person. And that's the one thing. If you are someone who wants the foil, request samples so you can actually see the foil in person. So you can actually know if that's something that you would want and that you would, um, and if it's something that you'll actually like when you actually see it in person. Because on a computer versus in person is way different. I mean, unless you're going to a stationary shop in person, then you know. But yeah, so that's what that looks like. Tells you on the back how it's all available here. And then you have your RSVP card, which matches, which is so pretty. And then you fill it out on the back. Yes, no, your names, and then your options for choice. And then this is the card. Well, this is the envelope that the RSVP card will go back in to come back to you. But I thought this was cool. And honestly, I feel like for the majority of these um, choices, you know, you, it really, it really shows you. And like Shutterfly is almost in a sense the same as Minted that is different designs all kind of put together. But Shutterfly definitely has some of my favorite designs on there. So that's Shutterfly. And then last but not least is the knot. So this is how theirs came. You open it up. It tells you how you can do your invitations. You can get a matching website as well, which is cool. Um, over here, it does give you like a timeline. And then it gives you some, um, some discounts here. So I'll start with some of the, you know, these things here. So here, this talks about, this is the paper that it's on, which is 120 super fine cardstock with a Mac matte eggshell finish and these are what the colors look like printed so you have jewel tones and neutrals and then pastel and mediums and then these are some of the cards that they sent so here is an example of a save the date this has like a glossy finish on this side and then on the back you it's like almost like a postcard which is very very cute i definitely like that this one here is a thank you card and then you can fill it out on the inside, which is really cool. And this is what the back, this is called Rustic Botanical. This is here as a wedding detail. So it's like, this gives you all the information for anybody that needs to, you know, reserve a room or anything like that. I really like that. This one is called Minimum Brush. This here is an example of an RSVP card here. This is called Muted Floral. And then it's already addressed to come back to the person doing the RSVP. Um, and that's also another thing. We ended up getting a P.O. box to have all of our stuff to go back to so it wouldn't completely bombard our mailbox here at the house. Um, but, you know, if you want to, or if you wanted to dedicate a certain person to, you know, take on the RSVPs, you can also do that too. Whatever you need to kind of like really help you. So then this here, this is a place car or escort car. So you have your name in the table and in the back of this one is called Painted Ethereal. So those are some of the samples of like the additional things here. And then here, this is what I like is that for people who use their company but needed to change their stuff, they were able to change it free of charge, which I thought is nice. So this here is an example of a invite. So here you see is um, addressed to the person's receiving it. We have the name of the um, couple here. And this is what their the invitation looks like. So you have all of the information here. This is another one. I really like this one. That look, yep. And then this one was my favorite and actually matches more what we have going on. However, all of this is not in cursive. So it almost like knocks it out. But even though... Only the first name is in cursive. Um, it's still kind of cute. I like it, but, you know, the man has to like it, too. <laughs> so, yeah. So, then that one here is from The Knot. 
all right guys well that's the end of this video thanks for sticking it out because i know it's probably going to be a long one but there's so much that goes into this and this is probably what i told him is the invitation is like the first look into what the wedding would look like so it's really important to me to give off kind of like the vision the theme and it also sets the tone for how guests are going to show up if it looks very like casual and chic that's how they're going to show up if it looks very formal then they want to show up and show out like we all going on an adult prom you know but it's a wedding <laughs> but yeah that's 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 one of the things and you know after i explain that to him he's just like okay i do get that i do get that but yes again thank you guys so much for watching today's video let me know how your experience went if you are married and or you help someone that was getting married and let me know any like um suggestions or companies that you may have used and then if you really enjoyed this video make sure you let me know which one of these invitations was your favorite leave me a comment down below with that make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys have not already and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.